Hi, this is Rick Adams from practicalcsm.com, uh, wishing you a big hello from us and welcome to my latest rants and musings. And on this uh, rant, I want to talk about the link between customer success and change management. And to my mind, these are very, very synergistic, very closely uh, linked. You can't get a different outcome without changing what you're doing. OK, so customer success is all about getting the outcome uh, and, and the reason why uh, they, the customer is going to get the outcome is because they've purchased our products or services and they're doing something different. So something has to change. And the purpose of the customer success manager is to guide them through that change such that they get the results that they want. So obviously, change management is a critical aspect of that. All initiatives require change, and the more complex the initiative, the more complex the change, and therefore it begins to make sense once we hit a certain amount of complexity that rather than making it up as we go along, we turn to, to change management best practice to see what's available. And change be management best practice is out there in many forms. Several published frameworks are available for effective delivery of change management. And if it's a good change management platform or framework, it will deliver change based upon people as much as or more than the things that actually change. So, um, there we go. That's just some uh, thinking on uh, change management. And in fact, uh, if you tune in to our next rant, I will talk about one of those change management uh, frameworks, ADCAR, which happens to be one that I particularly like. There are others available, but if you're interested, tune in next week and I'll be talking a little bit about ADCAR as well. OK, so that's it uh, from me for this time uh, from uh, myself, Rick Adams at practicalcsm.com. Wishing you all the best with customer success management and we will see you very soon for the next episode. Thank you.